Even when I'm pregnant, and the fact, and we run on my semi, and we run on my lactogen. You know, in the olden days, it's a castle of banal lactogen. I need to have money. In the year, we move a cake. But we will walk and say, Send you, then you for tea. I have two kids, but many for tea. You just know how to know how to handle your body. So when you come and you want to start these formal feedings, we ask you questions. Why? Apparently, being a doctor, so on me, and you tell me the signs and symptoms. I'm not going to tell you so that you went to your doctor. No, you come and you tell me the signs and symptoms. Why you think your breast milk is not enough for baby? We go through it. Eh? If there's a way for us to help you, we will help you so that you get back to breastfeeding, fully breastfeeding. I have a lawyer friend. I told her that anywhere I stand, I'll mention her name because she wanted to quit. Hey, dear lawyer friend, <laughs> I'll show this video to you. I told her where I said I'll mention her name that she also did this man's school. So, yes, she wanted to quit, and I told her, No, you can do it. Soldier on. All right. So, uh, so with women who have these. You have a, a special reason why you cannot fully breastfeed your child. When you come, we'll talk you through, we'll make sure that it's, there are genuine reasons, and then we can give you the go ahead to add uh, formula to the breastfeeding. Now that becomes mixed feeding. You are doing breast milk and then mixed feeding. Please, before you decide to give your child formula feeding, go to the hospital. Let your doctor. Be aware that this is the step that you are taking. On WhatsApp, I have a lot of people telling me, oh, dog, please, can I, can, my child is three months, can I start uh, formula? I'm like, no, I'm a breast milk, breastfeeding, exclusive breastfeeding advocate. So let's get to the six months. Or do you have any reason? We talk it through and I'm like, ah, your reason is not enough. But then if you still insist, go and see your local doctor. I'll not give you the go ahead on WhatsApp because I need to see you in person so that we really break things down. Before you decide to give your child formula, talk to your doctor because you do not know. Hey, these formulas they have their own side effects, not um, side, uh, side effects or complications. Some children react to these formulas. So if you stay at home and you decide, maybe I'm a man lactogen, or I'm a man SME, or I'm a man none. And then your child starts reacting to it. You rush and come to the hospital. And me, you want me to do what? When you are sitting in the house and you are doing your mix mix mixology, do actually. Of course, when we come, we will help you, but we'll bash you small. And eh? because the babies, we are ready parents. We don't joke with that. So before you decide, you know, go to your hospital, talk to your midwife, talk to your doctor, so that in case baby see they are aware, they knew that you were changing from or you were adding a formula and even the formula cramp on if you feel you want to change uh, let your health work and know it's a complication but helping you is so easy now let's talk about when a child is starting solid foods and complementary feeding please from six after six months old you don't bring your child is that complementary feeding you do not wean your child at six months. You start complementary feeding. Complementary feeding means that at six months, now, nah, now, nah, uh, from zero to six months, when you are doing exclusive breastfeeding, or you are doing just formula, or you are doing breastfeeding and formula, after the six months, you are going to introduce small, small solid foods into the child's meal. That is what we mean complementary. Yeah, bro, for complement. You don't stop breast milk because the child needs breast milk every single day until that child is three years. It really helps their uh, the development of the gastrointestinal tract. Okay, so you don't stop breastfeeding. You might uh, WHO say you can stop breastfeeding at two years, and after two years you can give uh, any other milk. However, me I stop breastfeeding at one year because of work. I had to go get the first baby to grandma because of where I was working and um, there's a whole lot of issues why I had to stop breastfeeding at one year. However, I did six months as close. So when you uh, baby is six months and you are continuing, we don't call it weaning. We call it complementary feeding. We are introducing solid foods into baby's food together with the breast milk or the formula. We will do uh, how to introduce or how to do complementary feeding properly in another video. And then we have what we call weaning. 
So weaning is when you want to stop baby from breastfeeding, cry like what I did. So uh, as one year and some weeks, uh, once baby stop breastfeeding, cry. Now that's what what weaning is called. Uh, that's what it means to wean baby off breast milk. It's not just a half a day, the food number yet all sorts. But that does not mean that she wasn't taking milk or she was taking milk but not adult milk she was taking baby's milk but not breast milk as well watch the next video to find out what i mean and how to introduce complementary feeding to your child thank you for watching i hope you understood what i said because i really want you to understand but if you did not understand let me know in the comment section below your questions are welcome your comments are welcome if i said anything that you didn't like let me know if there are any uh, topics you want me to cover please let me know in the comment section below it was fun hanging out with you you can tell that i'm passionate about these things so please Tell someone about this channel. Subscribe. Let's grow together. It really helps me. My public health advocacy. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye. Time wait, doctor.